All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahava Ka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. That's who I reverence and honors to the elder apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. This lesson ain't going to be a long one. Okay, we're going to get straight to it. The fear of the Lord Yahweh. This is what it all goes back to. The fear of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. Point blank period. We're going to start at Proverbs 9. Right? I'm going to go straight to verse 13. The fear of the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai is to hate evil. Right? It is to hate evil. What did the scripture say in, in Exodus? Follow not a multitude to do evil. So if you hate evil, you're not going to follow a multitude to do evil. So most of most of the men that claim to be in this truth, they're evil because they're following a multitude to do evil. Okay? And it says the fear of the Lord you have is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy. Some of that's pompous. And the evil way. And the froward mouth. Okay, a froward mouth is what? A deceitful tongue. Do I hate? So Lord Jehovah hates these things. Okay, plain black period. And that's where you got to separate yourself from this world. Separate yourself from the worldly. Right? But ultimately, if you're of the elect, Jehovah is going to do that some way, somehow. Okay. And fear Yahweh Yahweh Okay. Fear not him that can kill the body, but can kill what body, both and both body and soul, and what have you tormented upon earth, in the flesh. I know who I fear. I fear. I fear. Who do you fear? The enemy, because men are teaching you to fear the enemy. I fear the one that controls the enemy. That's who I fear. Fear you have a shy. Not the carnal individual that has demons on him. Right. But a lot of men, they're teaching what the fear of Esau, this is going to happen, that's going to... Yeah, we know these things are going to happen. But the question we should be asking, well, where do we stand? Are you doing the right thing to make sure you're looked after? Hmm? Go to Ecclesiastes 21. Ten and twenty-one. The fear of the Lord you shall go for, for obtaining authority. A lot of men they want authority, they want rank, but they can't even handle the rank. They can't even judge. How can you judge if you're a reprobate? How can you judge if you don't have the fear of you have a shy? You can still be a judge, but you're just a, a wicked judge if you don't have the fear of you have a shy. So that goes back to before obtaining authority. Right? But roughness and pride is the losing their rough. So when, when you have that roughness and that pride, and when the rough the roughness is not talking about you being a stare, because you're a stare as a man, the roughness could have created back to what? That spirit that Sal had. And that's another topic for another time. Right? Look what happened to Sal. Our brothers, read that story with David and Sal. And an evil spirit was upon Saul. And he wasn't he disobeyed what? Samuel's commands. Ultimately, the Lord Jehovah's commands. Right? He was disobedient. Right? And he wasn't dealing with his people right. He became a tyrant. Okay. King David was not a tyrant. Yahweh was not a tyrant. Okay. They were actually servants, and that's what a king's supposed to do. Serve his people. And the right way. Verse 22. Whether he be rich, noble or poor. Their glory is in the fear of the Lord. So no matter what status you have in society. The great riches is really. And the glory is the fear of the Lord. Nothing can beat that. Okay. It is not meet to despise the poor man that have understanding. 
neither is it convenient to magnify a sinful man. So a sinful man would be a man that's full up with what? Iniquity. That's not repenting. Great men, judges, potent, potentates shall be honoured. Because these are men that are highly esteemed in society, yet there is none of them greater than he that feareth the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai. There's none, there's none greater than one that fears Yahweh Shai. So you can have all these esteemed men in higher positions within this society, but they, they might not have that fear of Yahweh Shai. So someone that has that fear, what is that? You're greater than those that have that fear. Right? You're more wise than those. Why? Because you have that fear, Salaka. Because you have that fear. Well, all, that's what it all boils down to. It all boils down to the fear of Yahweh Yahashai. And that's what's going to keep us on that straight path. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. And the fear, it ends up with what? The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You're only going to be stable if you fear Yahashai. If you don't fear Yahashai, if you've just been going through the motions, if you've been messing about, well, the Lord ain't going to be your fear. Because you were messing about. You're not going to be stable. And that's to those that were messing about. That were not taking the truth seriously. And it's going to be shown that you don't have the fear of Yahweh Shai. By the way you operate. Go to Ecclesiastes. We're going to shut off soon. Ecclesiastes chapter 1. And 12, the fear of the Lord maketh a merry heart, a cheerful mind. Because you're, you're, you know you're doing the right thing according to Yahweh Yahweh So they're supposed to, yeah, there's merriness that comes with that. And giveth joy and gladness and long life. Okay. All these things. Okay. Verse 20, the root of wisdom is to fear the Lord Yahweh Yahweh the root would be the beginning of wisdom. And the branches thereof are long life. The fear of the Lord driveth away sin. So where the fear of Yahweh Yahweh is present. Wait, that's the spirit. I wasn't even reading it. And where it is present, it turneth away your wrath. So when the fear of Yahweh Yahweh is present, it's there. What does that do? It driveth away sins and it turns away the wrath. Because the scriptures tell you his indignation is upon what? The sinful of our people, the sinners. So, how do you have a clean slate? By fearing Yahweh Yahweh And you fear Yahweh Yahweh what, what are you going to do? Repent. Okay. All these things. Okay. I'm going to shut off on this distrust. Bear me just a minute. Verse 27. For the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instruction. Okay. And come not unto him with a double heart. Don't come unto the Yahweh Yahweh with a double heart. Don't come to the camp with a double heart. Right? You're in two minds. Right? Don't be double minded. Trust Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Every the moves you make within this truth, trust Yahweh Yahweh Shai is with you. And you may fall, you may slip, but you've got to trust and believe Yahweh Shai is with you. Even within your shortcomings. Okay. Oh man. So you know what? We're gonna finish off with this. Until next time, shadow arms to the hopeful elect. Shadow arms.